All right, let's go. I don't want to tie and redo this. There is something rushing this way. He finally came. I thought I would have to wait until tomorrow. Hey, I didn't take that long. Chill. I. It turns out there are actually ammunition supplies here. Nameless predecessor, lend me this ammunition for one use. Sincere apologies. There's an extra rifle here. You can take it, sir. There's really no need to use honorifics for me. I will correct it immediately. Alright, this scythe boy better pull his weight and do something in this fight. How to use this thing. Point the muzzle point the muzzle at the enemy and pull the trigger. It's harder to hit when you are far away from the enemy, but if you just practice more, you it could certainly become second nature to you. There's no more time for me to practice. I'll just stick this thing in the enemy's face and shoot. At a distance of one or two meters, I can still hit accurately. <laughs> Enemies are coming! You two, get behind! The forest spirit and I will block part the monsters. Okay, so he helps in this fight a little bit. Okay. Such a horde. I fear that more than half of the forest monsters are approaching this place. Prepare yourselves to fight! This is a critical battle! Coco and I will support you from the back. You two, go for it! Alright, let's go. He's gonna help us. Cool. These sandbags can protect us. I wonder if we're actually gonna fight more enemies now that they're both there. Thank you guys for the barricades. Aye, take the initiative and press the spacebar to shoot. You are still new to it, so only shoot point blank. Be careful. What is a spacebar? It means trigger. This is a habit of mine. Sorry for confusing you. If these sandbags get broken, just retreat immediately. I will help with cover fire, too. If you need me to change position during the battle, just give me a push. I'll always shoot forward. They are coming. Just come on. All right, let's go. Nice shot. Nice shot. Nice shot. Dang it. Okay. Aye, quick! Retreat! The sandbags are all broken! The line of defense is breached! Okay. Take the shot, bro. <laughs> Dang it. Too- too much! We can't hold out! Did you contribute literally anything? <laughs> Forest spirit! Spirit! Retreat! I'm glad he came to join us, though. I, I was thinking, dude, if there's a living soldier, he should join us in the fight. Aye, they can't hold out anymore. Now we have to rely on ourselves. All right, just land your shots, bro. And... Here. Change the position, you jerk. Dang it! Wah! Coco, you aren't injured, are you? I'm okay, I just got burned by the barrel. It's gonna break from continuous firing. Aye, just how many enemies are there still? Please persevere just a little longer. Goodness. Did this get tougher? I thought it'd be easier because we had more health, but it's not. We almost got it, we almost got it. Yes! Bro, bosses! Aye, they're retreating, we persevered! The monster army was nearly exterminated by us. Great victory! Beautiful work. It's honestly difficult to believe, but really beautiful. You know, I was giving him the higher pitched voice because it was just so shocking to see like the cute face after he had like this soulless dark image at the start. But now I got to give him like a nightly voice so he has a different voice from the balloon boy. All right, here we go. Yay! Brow pauses. If only I could keep the gun though. However, my rifle is overused, of course. The chamber exploded, can't be used anymore. Seems I can only throw you away. Really sorry, buddy. Rip. Back to the sword. That's supposedly sharper, but literally doesn't help in combat at all. <laughs> Any more than the other blade did. You have finally passed through the fallen forest. You have truly proven yourself. I knew you could do it. If you hadn't come to save the day, I would have been dead for sure. Then it looks like I what up to you. Count that one time you defeated me and we turned out to be even. Why are you so persistent about this? All in all, it's good that all of us are safe and sound. Young man, running away cannot solve your problems. Next time, don't use something like a balloon again. <laughs> Though there also can't be a next time, can there? Wah, I'm sorry. I will not come up with such a crooked idea in the future. Young man, apologies will likewise not solve your problems. Think of a way to make yourself become stronger. I think you misunderstood him. Apologizing is his mouth addiction. <laughs> Mouth addiction, I like it. I'm, I'm sure it's like some kind of Chinese translation thing that they, they, they have a mouth addiction. <laughs> Chat, you have a mouth addiction of calling me yumsies. I'm not yumsies. 
Okay, what game is this? Silenced. Didn't, it's not, I will get rid of this habit. No, I'm not Yumsies. I'll work hard to temper my body and strengthen myself after this. All right, all right, I have finished talking. I have also finished saving people. The sky is getting dark. Time for me to go back. Wait, he's gonna leave? I thought you were gonna go on ahead with us. That's not where I belong. Let alone that I still have to take care of some things in the forest. Like what? All the real problems are out here. The forest doesn't need you, bro. We need you. The next time I see you, I hope that it'll be when you return victorious. You must live to see me. I also leave you some dry rations. Don't forget to bring them. Stay safe at night. Beware of surprise attacks. If you get the chance, take a bath. Be careful of spores stuck to your body. Also, polish your weapons if you have time. You're like an old mother. <laughs> the people in this camp, I knew them all. A month ago, these people came here, fully equipped, well-armed, and in high spirits. They stayed in the forest for a while and had a good relationship with me. We even made friends. When they were preparing to dive deep into adventure, I told them all I knew. But in the end, they still ended like this. Once, again, and again, none of the adventurers I have known, seen, and met with ever returned. The Fallen Forest is only the official start of the adventure, but so many adventurers lose their lives here. There must be no more victims. I hope that by giving aid to adventurers, I can let them go further. You could also come with us! That would be even more aid! I really do not want anyone to die. Really not. This is also the reason why I stay behind in the forest. Huh? Oh, to stop others from progressing that could otherwise end up dying. I see. So when it comes to survival, I'm qualified to educate you like an old mother. <laughs> why the long faces? Let the mood be more lively. Uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> Even the forest giant. <laughs> Ah, one more thing. The forest spirit wasn't brought along by me. It is following you on its own. It seems like it wants to help you move forward. So from here on it... So from here on, it will always follow you, hmm? All of a sudden, we have a tree spirit supporter. That's all. I'm going. For what comes next, you really are on your own. Yay! Forest dragon daddy... Uh, forest spirit daddy's joining us. Good night. Goodbye. Goodbye, sir! Hold on. What are you doing? What's wrong? Wait, is he dying? Are you okay, sir? Can I not hold on anymore? What? What? I was attacked by a monster in the battle earlier. I wanted to suppress the pain in front of you two. That's why he was going to the forest, because he knew he was dying. He didn't want us to know that he was going to die. Oh no, dude. So you were a woman. Or she. Oh, you're a she! Oh! Right, my character called them alas, I forgot. But wait, so you knew, why, why are you... Oh, you were just suspecting they were a woman. So you were a woman. Isn't that obvious? Can you not tell by hearing my voice? Can you not tell by seeing my figure? Well, I can't hear your voice! Your text! Right. <laughs> Is it? Fine, I admit that I have a flat chest. Is that okay? Ah, it hurts. So much blood! Aye, think of a way to save her. I thought it was just a normal stab wound, so I wanted to treat it after going back. Can you help me? I'm a bit unsteady. Aye, quick, support her! Look at me. Just got hit one time and I'm already about to just die off. We were all so frail. Well, in your defense, I'm not really much better. If I take one hit, I'm dead too. I really envy you. Nobody can guess your next step. You can always evade any attack. You can even calculate the enemy's route. Make them go in front of you on their own, to then be finished off by you. Incredible. You really are one who can make miracles. I did not misjudge you. There is no point in talking. Get ready for first aid! Can we actually save her? Oh shoot, Ah, oh, this is happening. I have wiped off the excess blood. This wound is not big, but it is very deep. Chad, I'm not- I, I don't know how to do this. You almost got run through completely. What'd you get stabbed by? I mean, it was like a mushroom, right? So aren't we also worried about spores? Anyways, you almost got run through completely. I just wanted to help you as much as I could. However, I didn't think that I would be the first one to take a fall. If I die, dig a bigger hole for me. Don't move unnecessarily. I.e., the stuff I collected that might be useful. Hurry, treat her. I also have bandages, a needle, and a thread in my pocket. Only I can treat it. You have to hold on. 
Shoot. Okay, you have to disinfect and then you have to... What is this? Is this a cigarette? A slit wooden stick might be able to do something. Stop touching there! I have to disinfect. I want to use this lit wooden stick to sterilize the wound. The bleeding must be stopped first, otherwise blood clots will accumulate in the body. Think of something else. Wait, the bleeding must be stopped first? I think I get a chance to smell the fragrance of my own grilled meat in my life. You have to stop the... Will it smell good? Don't joke around. Guess my final wish should be, I want to eat meat. What is this? It looks just like... Poof. We have to stop the bleeding first, right? So do we... Wait, what, what can these weeds do? Stop touching there. Uh, for your information, I'm not a scarecrow. Even if you stuff all this grass in my stomach, it is of no avail either. Wait, this is useless. What's flowing in my body is blood. It's not grass. Goodness, it hurts. You're tearing the wound. I think about if you can combine some of the items we have to make something useful. Oh. I'm really trying. Chat, I'm not a doctor. I thought you disinfect first, but they're saying I need to stop the bleeding. Okay, suture? Stop touching there. Don't do this yet. Stitching the wood right away before you finish treating can potentially lead to infection. But I was trying to disinfect first! Young friend, when I was in the forest, I defeated innumerable bandits and with my... And my body has become riddled with scars. <sighs> but I've never had a wound get infected. But what hurts you is a mushroom monster. The likelihood of it getting infected is going to be much higher. I must find a way to do something about it. A little lighter, you. Wait, so... Okay. This is the bandage found in her clothes. Stop touching there. I feel like a broken water tank. Don't expect to plug the hole in a broken water tank with some cleaning rag. Deal with the wound first. The bandage are relying on... Just the bandage on the wound alone won't work. Seems to find a way to stitch the wound first. Thread. This? What could these weeds do? No. You know, I'm just gonna... I thought of something. I've seen it in pop science. Okay, there we go. Try everything until something works. I got it, I got it, I got it. Ignite the weeds with fire. In this way, one can then produce plant ash to stop a bleeding in an emergency. Really? Rubbing this onto a wound can stop a bleeding for the time being. Amazing, I.E. That stuff does not look befitting for a fair maiden. Are you a fair maiden? <laughs> okay, what can this pile of plant ash do? So we put that on the wound, right? Stop touching there. I'm going to start spreading the wood ash. This should make you stop bleeding. Coco, better look away a bit. Okay. Sorry to bother you. Can we start? Talk to me or I might bite you out of pain. Okay. The way your treatment of me looks reminds me of making stone sculptures. The sculptor at work shows not a hint of mercy to the stone. You don't either. I try to be as light-handed as possible. My family's been carving stone for many generations, except I, who chose to join the army and become a kingdom soldier. I don't want to carve stones in that little village for a lifetime and then marry a farmer. It is not to say that marrying a farmer was shameful, but because of my parents, my grandparents, his, their lives were all like this, they are imprisoned by the family business and bloodline with no way out. They are forever unable to do anything they truly enjoy. Everyone in my family, and I don't want my life to be that way. I want to pursue my own life. So that's why you became a soldier. The bleeding stopped. Hey, we did it! The bleeding stopped. Thank you, even though I'm about to fall unconscious from the pain now. And you put on a lot of it. I feel like a stuffed roast chicken covered in spices. It's far from over. Have to sterilize the wound next. Okay, that should be with the fire. Let me die! No! Sterilize. The slip wound stick might be able to do something. I'm now an incense burner. Treat me with more care. Next, it may hurt a lot. I'm going to use a slip wooden rod to sterilize your wound. High temperatures can also make your exposed wounds close immediately. You must endure it, madam. You better still call me mister. <laughs> you must endure it, mister! <laughs> I originally wanted to rush to your rescue, yet in the end, I caused you two trouble. How shameful. I'm going to start now. Just come on. Don't imitate me. It hurts like hell! Don't grip my hair. <laughs> it's not a shake -asm. It's pain! How is the wound now? Already closed. First stuffed with a belly full of ash and then lit on fire. Perhaps I would have been better off killed by the monsters. Stop saying this stuff. Talk about some other things. All right, now we should suture it, right? Right, I spoke before about how I joined the army. I snuck out in secret to do it, keeping my parents in the dark. Don't you need your parents' consent to join the army? 
That was an exceptional time. It seems to be because a troop was collectively put to death for participating in a revolt. Oh. Why? In order to quickly fill the hole in the force, the kingdom specially enlisted a group of recruits, no matter the status or history. Even so, female soldiers are not a common sight, but I did not want any special treatment in this regard either. But my brothers in arms and the brother defense regiment were really good to me indeed. In that expedition, even though there was already no way out anymore, they still did their best to protect me. Only I got away with nothing but my life, and after that I understood that perhaps I couldn't change anything. I may have changed my life. I won't stay in that little village and carve stone until I die of old age. But I'm still a weak and powerless person. I cannot become the hero to kill the beast. This is a fact that I cannot change in any way, either. And so I decided to do the best thing I myself can do. I want to help all adventurers. I will do everything in my power to make them able to go even further. Even so, everything I did was futile work. The adventurers, not one of them, came back. Even so, my efforts have all been silenced. This time will be different. You did amazingly. Thank you for your efforts. That sounds insincere. Then I take back what I just said. <laughs> you don't like my compliment? I take it back. I'm kidding. <laughs> so she snuck out. Wait. No, I did Thank you for helping me with your chiba. Can you be more gentle? Sure, sure. I want to touch you. All right, we should probably suture it, right? These are needle and thread I found in her clothes. Thank you for helping me with your chiba. Can you be more gentle? I'm going to sew the wound shut with the needle and thread. This process will probably also hurt. Just do as you please. I don't have the strength to resist anymore. Do whatever you want. If you want, you could sew up the holes in my leggings, too. No! This is for your health. I'm not your tailor. Ah, Luckily, I don't feel anything anymore, I would have, or I would very much be in horrible pain. I haven't started sewing yet. <laughs> Let me die! <laughs> ah, I'm not very good at needlework, so it won't look too pretty. Who still cares about beauty? Right now, I want to rip off your tail in one bite out of pain. <laughs> Let's better continue with your previous topic. Uh, after seeking shelter in the forest, I was being well taken care of by the forest spirits. The land is barren and cannot grow crops, so the forest spirits shared some wild plants they collected with me. I would sometimes give extra rations to those adventurers I had the best intentions. But later, some robbers, desperate for food, they had heard about this and infiltrated the forest. They knew adventurers would definitely bring enough food and water on their adventure. They craved those supplies. They began to lie in ambush at forest crossings and robbing adventurers, calling themselves adventure killers. Ah, yeah, so the adventure killers are a real thing. It's like that silver wolf guy said. So this is what they were doing. I haven't seen such a robber on the way. I have killed off every last one of them. Dang! <laughs> she doesn't mess around, bro. My training in the Order of Knights was no waste of time after all. What? <laughs> I cannot allow anyone to hinder those adventurers. This is the meaning of my existence. You can understand, can't you? I understand. Any adventurer at all could be hoped to change the fate of the world. They must not die at the hands of bandits. But after that time, I was seriously injured for several months. It was the forest spirit chieftain who cared for me all that time. Turns out big guy's the chieftain. Oh! The last forest giant, he's their chieftain. All right, time to bandage, we're almost done. I actually thought that she was gonna die because I was doing such a bad job. I was genuinely scared. This is the bandage found in her clothes. All right. This will leave scars, huh? But at least I will live on. Put this bandage on. Finished. I am still in agonizing pain, but... Thank you. You have saved my life. And there's also the young man. Thank you, too. You're welcome. I'm already able to walk, and I'll be just fine in a little while. The treatment after that, I could handle myself. Get well soon. Nice! We did it. We saved her life. Give me a hand. Are you going to stay with us now? We saved your life. But maybe you want to help other adventurers. Thanks to you, I can walk again. Although the wound is still very painful. And I got stuffed by you like a turkey. <laughs> but you did save my life at least. Yeah, you know, just, just that little small detail. At least you saved your life. No biggie. Just patched up and already frolicking about. Don't let my meticulous treatment go to waste now. Be at ease. I'm very tenacious. What do you plan to do next, sir? Do you want to stay here and rest up for a night? No. After the battle earlier, there aren't any more monsters left in the Fallen Forest. Wait, really? There are no more mushrooms? We killed them all? That's kind of a big deal, isn't it? 
I thought we like ran and just dealt with like what little was still there. We actually wiped out the mushrooms. There aren't any more monsters left in the fallen forest. We wiped out the mushrooms. That's a really big deal. Okay, nice. I'll just take advantage of this opportunity to walk back by myself. I don't want to give you any more trouble. Come on, you should chill with us. Then I'll just go back to the forest. Any more delay and it will really get dark. Thank you too once again. It's goodbye for real this time. Be careful on the road. Goodbye! I'm gonna miss you, really. I kinda liked that character. You too. You must return safely! This person is really energetic. I.e., let's just camp here and rest for today. In a little while, it'll really be night. We can use the ready-made leftover stuff left by these predecessors for the night. I happen to be hungry, too. Then I'll go and prepare some dinner right away. Wonder what the forest spirit would eat. It's fine just basking in the sun. <laughs> Perks of being a tree, you just eat sunlight. <laughs> uh. Aw, it's us having a sit-sit and a nom-nom. I'm stuffed. <laughs> I just love how the last uh, tree giant is just casually, like, chilling with us, too. Haven't eaten fresh food for a long time. After the beast came into the world, the soil could not grow crops anymore. Oh, my goodness. I <laughs> see you've got some yumsies on your cheek there. Because of this, countless people starved to death. Many animals turned into monsters, so it's difficult to gain anything from hunting, too. And the well water gradually turned red and foul-smelling. Ugh, this is horrible. There's some fresh water right next to us right there, though, right? <laughs> Every single day, there would be people dying from polluted water poisoning. After the fall of the country, order gave way to chaos. Coco, what was it like at your place? The town I was in also fell into crisis. All the public facilities have been closed down. The city guard has also been disbanded. There is no law enforcer. It's chaos. Food and water are all in short supply, and there were even cannibalism cases. Oh my goodness. Many tremors caused serious casualties. They were numbing each other. Thank you, Repor. Appreciate it. It's not shakable! Three males sharing a tent! Nobody thought the kingdom would just fall one day. The kingdom, the army, the capital, history in the blink of an eye. Many people left for other continents by boat. Some say that the same calamity is in other countries too. And then some, like you, sit, <laughs> like you, come here to go on an adventure and try to defeat that mysterious beast. No one who went to the king capital could ever come back. Of, of the monster that destroyed the kingdom, all that is known as the name. There is no living person who has ever seen the beast. But the transformation of this world proves that it really does exist. Um, I.E., you have crumbs on your face. Wanna lick them off? Why do you only say it now? <laughs> when someone else is talking, don't interrupt the other party. This is etiquette. Coco, do you think just killing the beast can change all of this? I, I think it should change for the better, right? Because isn't that monster that lead to all of this? What kind of monster would corrupt the land, would cause frequent earthquakes, would make water sources become foul, would bring forth this mushroom... I don't know. Maybe all of this was not caused by the beast after all. What are you getting at? And this mutation created the beast. So instead of the beast being the source of the problem, the beast is just a byproduct of it. It was just produced by the problem. It's not the root cause, but something else is. But then what? But all this is just my speculation is all. In order to find out the truth, I can only keep going forward. Although I didn't actually come here voluntarily. Wait, what? You were forced? Did you come here to find the missing master, Coco? The master is a revered technician. He adopted me when I was an orphan. He is stern, but he is the only one in the world who cared about me. He taught me many technician skills. A few days ago, he left a letter and went to the capital city. He adopted me just so the skills would be passed on. But the master is the master, after all. It's so dangerous here. I can't leave him alone. He just went all by himself, hoping that you would live on. I actually understand the master wants his skills to be handed down. When it comes to me, he does not care. But he is still my only family. I won't just let him go, no matter what. Coco, you said before that you live in a town. You're from West City, right? Yes, very smart. I, I do indeed live in West City. And where do you come from? I just live in the adventurer village outside the forest. It's where the survivors from the capital went. After the news about the beast spread, it became an outpost for adventurers. So you're just some adventurer? After all, it's the closest gathering place to the capital. But he also said that he, he didn't go voluntarily, so he was forced. So he was in the adventure pl gathering place. They found out about the beast, and then he was forced to go. 
Is your place still doing okay? He said he's the only one left. Yeah, I'm the only one left of the whole village. Something's happened yesterday. Only I came out alive. Yo, the soundtrack is fire, not gonna lie. I didn't expect the game to have such a good soundtrack. My apologies for asking. Don't worry about it. It's already passed. There's no turning back for me now. I only have two options. Kill the beast and resolve the calamity on this world, or be killed by the beast and not face the ending world. It seems to me that only the latter is doable. Even if I turned back now, I would have no place to live. In the end, I would still starve to death in the wilderness. Oh, that's what he means he has no choice. He's gonna die either way, so he might as well try to beat the beast. To kill the beast, such an ordeal, a nobody such as me could never do. Reality is not a novel, after all. Miracles don't happen. My end is destined. There must still be other ways. Don't say such things. I myself don't hold too high hopes of finding the master. But we're already here, aren't we? As long as we keep on going, there's still hope, no matter how little. If we all choose to avoid difficulties, then nothing at all could ever take any turn for the better, eh? I? You're really optimistic in this regard. I? Uh... What am I doing? Good time to take a bath and let the mind relax a little. This pond looks pretty clean. Rainwater collecting here must have formed it. As it happens, my body's been getting very dirty. Coco, come over too. Let's bathe together. Ooh. You too, forest giant. Come on, bathe with us. It'll be all three of us dudes in the water. Don't worry, we'll be social distancing. There's nothing gay about it. It's not a shake hole. It's not sus. But this, the two of us, it's its not appropriate, is it? I, I can't. I refuse. This is getting sus really fast. You react so strongly. It's just a bath. Nothing more. <laughs> That's what they all say. That's how it always begins. And then you get closer. And you start touching. And then you start bathing in other things. Just what were you thinking? Either way, I'm going first. Yahoo! Freezing. Oh. <laughs> What's happening? Put the fire heated boiling hot pot in the pool to make it warm up. Ah, smart. Really, huh? Nice and comfortable. I kind of want to give it a go. Come on, give in. Come into the water with me. Take off your clothes. Don't leave me alone in here. Come on, come on. Although I, I was a bit opposed to it, I... I'm coming too. Yeah, that's right. One step at a time. Doesn't it feel nice? It burns! <laughs> it's okay, you'll get used to it. Walk it off, you'll feel better the next morning. <laughs> Adorable. Aw. That's a cute picture. <laughs> it's not a shake or shake chasm. I just want him to clean up. The forest spirit is watching. He wants in on it. He did jump next to the hot pot. True. <laughs> is that the end of the demo? I'm almost done washing myself. You guys told me that that one room was the last room of the demo. So is this all new? I went overtime because I thought we were almost done. How much more is left? Yeah, there's no shake or shake chasm. That's right. Let Forest Spirit in there as well. He'll make sure nothing bad goes on in there. <laughs> He's doing more than just watching. I'm almost done washing myself. Let's wipe up. But now I'm sore all over. Wish someone would come and give me a massage. Ooh. <laughs> Let Coco to help out. Yes. We're going to tell Coco to massage me. Please, Coco, help me out with wiping. I, I need help reaching those hard-to-reach places. You know, I can't reach them myself. Eh, eh? This isn't appropriate, is it? But since it's you... Okay, I'll go get a towel. One moment. Don't force yourself. Your face looks like you're about to rip off my hair. <laughs> oh, then come on. Please? First of all, to smooth out the messy hair with the grain. And then I will help you wipe your wet hair, too. Ugh, I regret agreeing to this a little. So reluctant. If you actually have regrets, just forget it. Thing is that I have a slight strain on my arm. My arm feels a little sore as soon as I lift it up. I purely just wanted to ask you a favor. Eh? Eh? Uh, I did get hurt? Th then better let me help you wipe up. 
I said don't force yourself. What happens if you do this? The royal saber I obtained in the forest. Oh! I didn't do this last time. You can interact with the inventory items. The royal saber I obtained in the forest. It was forged from a single piece of metal. The grip has many anti-slip notches. The blade is extremely sharp and sturdy. can easily slice through many things. Holding it in your hand gives a feeling of safety. A few years ago, the fashion of wearing formal attire suddenly appeared. It is said to imitate the way of dressing of the ancient civilization's people. If you didn't have formal attire back then, you would be treated like a beggar. <laughs> so I just bought a jacket to go with the times a little. Just washed the jacket when bathing. Having finished drying over the campfire, it can already be worn. <laughs> So you just wear like a jacket and tie everywhere because that's just the fashion style nowadays. A paper corner that was stuck in my clothes. It's probably a scrap of my novel. Sadly, I can't finish it anymore. You were writing a novel? I spent many hours on creating it, but the salary is just barely enough to live. Oof, yeah. That's rough, what's this? I, what's this round and rough looking fuzzy thing? It's a furball I rolled out of the fur on my body. Ugh. Wow, such a big one. I roll all the furs stuck to my underwear into fur balls. Wait, so this is a very special ball of fur, huh? This way it's easier to clean up in case of shedding. I forgot to throw away this fur ball in my pocket. <laughs> it's not a shake! <laughs> no, it's not sauce! No, it's not shake! <laughs> Let me just see if the dialogue's any different. No, it's the same, okay. What's this dice? I believe that all possibilities exist in this world. Rolling this dice itself already has many possibilities. Let's say I roll a one with this dice now, then I would have at least five other possibilities. And these five possibilities of mine absolutely do exist. Therefore, the moment I roll this dice, this world is divided into six different possibilities. Sounds like some kind of parallel universe theory. And I'm just the one who rolled the one. Me being able to cut my way through to here and live, in, and live to the present is the result of experiencing countless possible deaths. Uh-oh. <laughs> countless others of me died on the way forward. But all this ultimately resulted in the now living me. True. Can anyone see the worlds where I died? Uh, no, no I, I don't know what you're talking about. You're making this up. Is it because of them that I could live to the present? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, it is. Not just me, but also chat. We've been saving your life. Those are the cheat dice, yeah. What if there's an actual lore reason though? Cause because they're talk they're super breaking fourth wall. Like I can't tell if they're just trying to be philosophical here, or I mean it, it sounds clear enough to where like they know this is an actual thing. Almost as if like just holding the dice itself gives them the power. Maybe this dice is some kind of magical, mystical dice artifact, you know? Alright, what's with this leaf? Is this one of the leaves on the forest spirit's body? It fell off its body. Look carefully at this leaf. It's actually leaf-like fur. Wait, so their, their, their f leaves are f actually fur, just looks like leaves? We did always think that the tree spirits were transformed from trees. Yeah, we know that now. We saw the script thingy, the manu- The picture, we saw the picture. Tree spirits are actually also just as furry as us. Interesting. <clears throat> Little wood pinion I picked up on the road. I already have four on hand now. Yeah, I've been like collecting all of them. <laughs> I'm not gonna be skipping anything, so I guess we're just gonna have all of them. Ah, this is the master's technology. I really hope I didn't miss one, and then there's something like at the end of the game, chapter 69, where it's like, oh, I hope you collected all 420 of these, otherwise you gotta start all over, Jaggy. <laughs> Those catapult devices are also made by the master. There's absolutely no doubt about it. My master was here. Well, let's go on ahead and find him. Metal I got from the dead knight back there. I risked my life to get this. If this was the past, it would certainly be worth a lot of money. Sadly, gold and such are really useless now. There will be things like that in normal life, too. Experiencing hardship, but having it be for nothing more than a useless token. The hard work may not have any meaning after all. Dang. Didn't the interesting dice not part of the lore just a mechanic? Oh, did it? I don't remember. Maybe. <clears throat> Welcome back, James. Good to see you. Alright, it's time for rubs. Oh, yeah. You like it when I rub you there? Oh, yeah. Doesn't that feel nice? Is that the sweet spot, big boy? You like these rubs? You want me to rub a little lower? Lower? Oh, yeah. Nice abs. I'm gonna rub them, make them even firmer. Yeah. Oh, baby. Sus. It's not sus. Hey, Dave, how's it going? It's not blushy chasm. Oh, let me feel those biceps. You got some strong arms. Oh, yeah. 
feels good. Oh, yes. You like our rubbing there? <laughs> it's not sus. I'm rubbing him. I'm helping him dry. He's injured. He needs help. I'm just helping him rub. He needs help in the bathtub. No, it's not sus. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let me rub out that fur. He needs some help there, big boy. I got you. Don't worry. Let me dry you here. Seems like you're still a bit wet. Let me help you out some more. Wouldn't want you getting even more wet, big guy. Don't get too excited now. I'm gonna rub you and make you nice and clean. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> much better. He says much better, okay? Much better. <laughs> everyone on TikTok is spamming sus, and everyone on Twitch is like, smug sus gasm. <laughs> no, it's not sus. <laughs> Can you rub my belly? See, he likes it. He's asking me to rub his belly now. Can you rub my belly? Oh, yeah. I'll happily rub your belly. I like having my belly rubbed. Chat, he says he likes having his belly rubbed. I can't say no. When a bro says he likes having his belly rubbed, you gotta rub, man. You gotta be polite. Eh? Eh? All right. I actually also quite like being rubbed. It's better to say that actually all of us souls enjoy being rubbed. My favorite thing after a long journey is an abdominal massage. Oh, I'm gonna give you a really nice abdominal massage. But you asking me is still a little embarrassing. Take it easy now. Oh, yeah. You like what I rub you there, big boy? Does that feel nice? Oh, yeah. Want me to rub you a little lower? Oh, yeah. Look at the happy face. That's a happy wolfie. Oh, yeah. Enjoy those belly rubs. <laughs> poof! He went poof! What if we want to be rubbed lower? Then you have no choice to oblige. No, no, that's unplatonic. It it doesn't have to be. It's not impolite to reject to to, to deny rubbing even lower. No, no, it's not. <laughs> wow, I you puffed up your fur. <laughs> Don't get all excited. My fur is very hard. Is that the only thing that's hard about you? It stands up after bathing and wipes. Your oh, what else is standing up, huh? I'm already used to it, me too. It'll be fine in a bit. Yeah, yeah, once you let it all out, you know? <sighs> Did you secretly laugh? I, f I didn't. Hi, <laughs> you are hilarious. <laughs> See if I can't make you fluff up too. No! I'm sorry! <laughs> <laughs> it's getting late already. It's time to go to sleep. Temperature at night is very low, but this tent is just for one. Coco, go take the tent. I'm fine sleeping in a sleeping bag. But Ai, you've already been busy all day. You're the one who should rest in the tent. I've just been moving fingers on the way. I didn't do anything more. Don't talk about yourself like that. You really helped out a lot, and it's much more appropriate for you to sleep in it. Your constitution is quite lacking. Catching a cold at night is no good. It would delay... Excuse me. It would delay the progress. Okay. I'll take care of myself. Ai, be careful not to catch a cold too. Then good night. To you too, Ai. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Lovely bath time. Good night, forest spirit. The day is over. You worked hard too. Good night, big guy. Aw. <clears throat> Aw, I'm gonna sleep next to my Uwu forest daddy. That's my second favorite sleeping spot. My favorite, of course, would be in his lap. But don't tell him that. All right, next. No, it's not blushy shako. It's cute. It's wholesome. What's happening now? We have to tell him that, that no. No, don't tell him. He always loves sleeping with daddy, especially dragon daddy. No, no, that's not true. <laughs> no. A new day has begun. Okay, okay. I'm not a bottom for daddy! I like the soundtrack. I wanted to hear more of it. Ah, I enjoy your gnomes, Wild. <clears throat> Great. Lantern. So, this seems like a flashback. We're not... Or a dream? Clean bed. Wardrobe. Dirty water bucket. Wood for firing. 
It's a nice place. Empty pot. Fine meat wrapped in paper. Wood for firing. Not too fresh vegetables. Aw, we need better yums. The fireplace must have to pass the winter. Candlestick. Machete for logging. So that was my original weapon, the logging machete, which we replaced with the kingdom saber, the falchion. Why didn't I take this sword above the fireplace? Is that a picture of a sword or is that an actual sword mounted above it? That looks like a proper weapon, unlike this logging machete. Hmm. Dining table. Yo, I've got a nice place. This is pretty cool. Clean water. Empty crop. Wait, is that like a water bowl? Like a pet bowl? I drink out of a water bowl? How degrading. I'm not some pet. I'm a person. Oh, there's a Poro painting at the top of it. Look at that. An Easter egg. There's an Easter egg up there. Empty crock. Books that haven't been read for a long time. All right, we've got a little clock thingy. Novel draft. Ah, yeah, because he was saying we were writing the novel. Sword of the Fireplace, he gets a real sword. Yeah, I think so. You can't numb me, I'm not yumsies. Okay, let's save. Ah, and that's a typewriter. That's a Resident Evil reference because you save with typewriters. That's adorable. Very, very nice. You want to numb the snoo? You can't numb the snoo because I'm not yumsies. Never, ever yumsies. All right, let's step outside. Let's do the usual thing. Don't be seen by other villagers. Wonder what this usual thing is. Don't be seen by other villagers. So this is definitely a flashback. Ah, we got the changed bird sound. When I first came here, I planted quite a few flowers. Now there's nothing left other than dead twigs. At first I thought that the cause were insect pests, so I scattered a lot of sulfur around the house. But it's actually because the quality of the soil has become poor. Yeah, we know the beasts and his monsters are making the soil poor quality. Since the mutation, nothing at all can grow in the fields anymore. Even the sad forest is gradually withering and decaying. Watering can. Hoe. Empty bucket. Room. Axe. Wood for firing. Toilet. Oh wait, I didn't mean to go all the way across. Since the invasion of the capital, this place has been in decline. And nowadays, there are many dangerous monsters outside the village. But thanks to the coming and going adventurers here, this place is quite rich in physical goods. Adventurers from far away exchange food for help. This is how the village has survived, but gradually people will stop coming here. This place is slowly going to decline even more. Dang. So I wonder what we're trying to hide from the villagers. What do we not want them to see? Burb. Can we go in here? No. More Ned. It's messing here. Last night there was another earthquake. You were probably sleeping at that time and didn't feel it, hmm? The earthquake did not cause any damage, but it left various stuff scattered all over the ground. Better watch your feet today. Thanks for the reminder. Oh, don't mention it. If you have time, communicate with the village fellows more often. Don't always just stay shut in your own house. Aw, they seem pretty nice. Assembly bell. It'll take until the afternoon to finish dealing with these obstacles, so no going through here now. Please take a detour. If I talk to them again, I get a question mark. The poor guy doesn't really look like they're making any progress. <laughs> He's a bit of a loner. Maybe. The hay yard is right at the village entrance. Let's keep moving while there are fewer people. That matter is really important. We want to go to the hay yard and we don't want people to be there for some reason. Do it today no matter what. Do what today? Although it's early spring, there are no bugs at all. It seems that last summer there were especially few mosquitoes. I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. I think I probably know the reason. Come on, you're just a novelist. What would you know? That there aren't many mosquitoes? I mean, because there aren't that many crops... I mean, I think the whole ecosystem is kind of dying, right? <laughs> Do we already know about the beast at this point? I guess I'm curious where in the timeline this is. Huh. Oh! I pushed this in the slot, right? Ah, that's what that is. Okay, I see. New soundtrack! I mean, there's only one crate I can push, so... Yeah. Okay, this is where we have a few more options, so we need to be careful. I think we need to go all the way around first. I could be wrong. 
Someone stole food from the villager before he got caught, tied up and beaten to death by angry villagers. Dang. People aren't messing around when it comes to food anymore, dude. Everyone's starving. Every day such things happen and some people go missing from the village every day. Did they run away or no one knows? Holy crap. Wait, but I can't cross before... Hmm. Seems like a straightforward puzzle. Ho ho, you really lucked out. Right after moving here from the capital, something goes down in the capital. We used to live in the capital. We moved out of there. How are you? You still continuing your writing? But now there's nobody in this world can read novels anymore, is there? Useless mouths who don't prove their worth will be driven out of the village. I think you should be careful. Uh-oh. Wait, so because I'm just a writer, I would be considered useless and maybe kicked out of the village? Oh, jeez. Alright, last night's earthquake made many sinkholes appear on the road. I will not save you if you fall into one. Oh, wait, I will not save you if I fall into one. Oh, okay, good luck with that. <laughs> Thanks for the reminder. Ho ho, you have to pay attention to your safety. Alright. But... I guess like this? And then... Yeah, like that. Yeah, I got it. I was overcomplicating it. You see the switch? I see it, I see it. Alright, alright, we're good. The capital has already entered the electrical age. Electrical age? But this village is still so dilapidated. What does dilapidated mean? I guess we're just stuck in the past. There's not even a single streetlight here. There's no relation between the flourishing city and this place. Before the fall of the capital happened, this was just an abandoned village. So this was abandoned before, but we just quickly hold up here and we're living in the traditional way. Okay, um, I think like this and then, oh, no. That's right, okay. Goodness, okay. Well, only one option here. Down. First box all the way down, third box all the way down, then push them over. How? If I do this... Oh! And then I can come around. Okay, yeah, I didn't think about the loop. That's wow. Okay, got it. Okay, okay, that was the factor I was missing. Thank you, appreciate it. Pushing this one all the way across does not seem beneficial in any way, so I'm pretty sure we need to move this down at least here, at least. This box all the way down. Try not to lock the bottom two boxes. Okay. All the way, all right, it's all the way, then what? Top left one once. Top of the two left, and then bottom one down. Ah! You are correct, thank you. Alright, I got it from here. Appreciate it. Thank you, chat. <laughs> yeah, that's the answer. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you very much. Whew! So, what's with this barrel? Oh. Is this gonna do a bad? Interesting mechanic. Okay. Do you know the origin of this village? When King Capital just began construction, it was just a logging area. The wood obtained here would be transported to the capital as construction materials. This place was also a resting place for miners at the same time. Gradually, more people came here and then ultimately formed this village. After the capital was built, this became a transit station for goods on the way to the capital. But logging and trade must be carried out simultaneously. A large amount of goods and timber having no place to pile up is a problem. Our villagers have, because of this, created a unique roof architecture, putting goods and wood on the roof to save space. However, as you can see, last night's earthquake shook down all the timber and goods. Oh, dang. Please pay attention to safety when going out today. Thanks for the reminder. So they were storing all their, like, extra wood before it could be transported to the capital. They were storing it, like, in the roof, but then the earthquake knocked it all down. That seems pretty bad. <laughs> I've lived here for a while, but even now, still don't have any friends. However, I don't have a need for it either. I have nothing to do on weekdays, just some gardening and some writing. I'm occasionally reselling some rural goods. 
My mood improved a lot after moving here. At least it's more simple than living in the king capital. But the good days didn't last long until the mutation happened. Okay, so it has happened. 